Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and to my channel. It's um, Sunday afternoon here, it's just gone half past 12 and at the moment the sun is shining beautifully. When I got up this morning it was sunny and then it went grey and it's been raining for a little while. Not heavy, just a bit of rain and now it's just beautiful blue sky again. Very strange, but um, it's coolish warmish, it's not too bad, it's probably about 19 degrees C. Um, so that's not too bad, it's not freezing at all. And what you're looking at is something I sort of really wanted to show you and that is how my little girl sleeps. This is what she does when she's asleep, especially in winter. So she's got um, a gorgeous blanket over her which I'll show you in more detail in a minute. And she's wearing a bonnet and she's all rugged up in another little blanket wrapped around her so she's warm. At the moment you can see in front of her a gorgeous little pram rattle. This pram rattle actually belonged to my oldest son who's turning 45 very soon. And this was his. And I'm so glad I kept it. I don't even know why I did or how that happened, but I'm really glad I did. I've had to add the little um, round beads to it. They're from another very old um, baby rattle thing. Um, and the couple of little bells as well I added that I've collected over the years. Because all that was left were the two blue little sheep. There wasn't much else on it, and I've replaced the elastic. So, um... The sheep are original, or the lambs, I should say. Lambs, shouldn't I? The lambs are original. And Lottie loves looking at them before she falls asleep. So that's how she sleeps in her pram. Let me just, now that you've seen them, I might just undo them so you can see Lottie a bit better. Because they're very close to her little face, aren't they, darling? So we'll just undo them. There they are. Just hanging off the side now. Now you can see her a little bit better. I might tell you about this beautiful blanket as well. It's a, it's a vintage blanket that I've had for, oh, I don't know how long, at least five years. I think I bought it on eBay. I just saw it and fell in love with it. It's beautiful. It's handmade. And let me show you around the edge. There's a white satin trim. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. There's a white satin trim. And there's even a little rosebud that's been embroidered there. There's one on each corner. Can you see that? No, you can't. There it is. I don't know if you can see that. And then we've got beautiful flowers and little lambs. Let me just tidy this a bit more for you. And for you, so you can see it. So there's a little lambs, two little lambs frolicking. And they're done in the most beautiful embroidery. It's raised up. Let me see if I can just move this a bit closer so you can see in more detail. Oh, now we've got that thing hanging in the front. Hang on a sec. This is so tricky. Whoops. With one hand, it's really difficult doing this kind of thing. Let me just try again. I really want you to see the little lambs because they're done in very fine embroidery work that's actually raised. I don't know if you can see that because I can't quite see what you're looking at. But hopefully you can see those little lambs. They're done in like... Um, the little French knots, if, you, if you've done any embroidery yourself. So they're, they're beautiful and um, quite raised up. And let me just put this back. They're cream, the, both lambs are cream and they've got little grey highlights, ears and their little feet and one's got under the tummy. Let's get this right too. And then there are some beautiful flowers, just simple flowers embroidered on the blanket. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love this blankie. And I love lambs, of course. I love lambs. And let me just show you the back of it. Because it's backed in the most sweet vintage material. Which is like a... Oh, it's a flannelette. And it's a cream colour. And it's got little rose, pink rosebuds with green leaves on it. And I don't know if I told you what the top was. It's a pink woolen fabric. It's pure wool like you used to get in the olden days. I don't even know if you can get that now. So that's what's covering her, which I just I love this blanket so much. And I realised I hadn't shown you before. Even though you all know I've got a blanket addiction, I haven't shown you all of my blankets. So that's that over the top of her. So I've told you about the pram rattle and the beautiful blanket. And now here's the little girl. There she is. I might put the blanket over here. 
So there she is all rugged up because it was very cold when I got her in her jammies last night. It was really cold. I find it hard to dress the babies when it's cold because I can't imagine having my clothes taken off and get dressed again just when it's freezing. So I, I know they don't feel it, but I feel it for them, which is silly. But So she, anyway, she's very rugged up. Let me show you. I'll unwrap her a bit so you can see what she's wearing. It's a beautiful, beautiful shawl, this one. Hand knitted. There she is. Now I'll check to see what you can see. So there she's unwrapped. So she's been very warm overnight. Might have to go out a wee bit, mightn't I? So that you can see her feet. Oh, but we're not close enough, really. Let me just lift up her legs so you can get an idea of her feet because she's got her matching booties on. Can you see that? Her little pom pom, pink pom pom booties. I hope you can see them. That they match her bonnet and both of them match her jammies, which are a two piece set. Um, white. The top is white and the sleeves are white with pink flowers and kind of pale blue little flowers as well. And they're frilled around the, the cuffs and she's got a frilled collar which you may not be able to see either. I'll zoom in afterwards. And on the front she's got a little pocket and it's a real pocket and it's made of the floral fabric and it's just on the plain white front. I'll just show it's a real pocket. There we are, Kimberly, a real pocket. She hasn't got anything in there, but coming out of the pocket are some embroidered flowers that match the embroidery on the top. And her little jammy pants are just the floral fabric, so the white background with the pink flowers and the tiny blue flowers. And that's what she's wearing. And her pink bonnet and booties that you've seen before with the pom-poms on. I like that pink because I have a fair few pink bonnets because I do have a bit of a bonnet obsession but that was the best pink that matched with everything. It's quite hard to match pinks when you go looking but there we are, that's what she's wearing today. Now what did I say I was going to do? Was I going to zoom? Oh, I was going to try and zoom in on her head so you could see the, oh here we go, see the frilled collar. Now you know I'm not good at this zooming business. How's that? Now I might just pull the collar out a bit so you can see it. It's very sweet. These jammies are lovely. I think they must be made with the um, organic cotton because they're super soft. There we are. Yeah, I think you'd be able to see that now. Can you see the frill collar? And it's in the floor. Oh, you can't see it very well, can you? It's in the floral fabric as well. Sorry, Lottie. Just pushing a bit on your chest, giving you a bit of a chest pump there. There we are. She didn't mind it. Oh, now we, you really can't see. Goodness me, I'm not good at this, am I? There we are. All of that just to see a collar. But there she is. There's my little girl. So this is how she slept. She was very, very cosy. I love wrapping her up. And this is just a beautiful woolen hand knitted shawl that I bought from eBay a long time ago. I've got a few of them. Actually, maybe only another one that's hand knitted. Um, and it's it's one of those circular ones. Is it? Yes, it's circular. It's very similar to this, but it's um, it's a circle, whereas this is like a proper blanket shape, rectangular. It's not square, it's rectangular. So that's how she sleeps. And she likes to look at her lambs before she falls asleep. I keep them in front of her and they just help her drift off. She's a very good sleeper, by the way. Even though she's so young, she's a very good sleeper. And actually, um, in real life, my four babies all slept through the night from six and a half weeks onwards. I don't know how they did it, and it's absolutely true. And they all had huge afternoon sleeps almost until they went to school. In fact, when my second child, my oldest daughter, went to school, she had still been, been having like a two hour sleep in the afternoon so she was really tired after big school. But they have all been good sleepers and luckily Lottie is too. She's no trouble at all for me. I think she's a, an adorable little sausage. I'm very, very happy to have her. Uh, and in case you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I made this baby and um, 
she is from the Mary Ann sculpt by Natalie Blick and she's not new she's well the sculpts probably would it be a year old or maybe 18 months old so Natalie Blick is the one who did um, Penny and Sherry and what's her famous one the one oh I can't think anyway hopefully if you want to know you can look her up she's made a lot of kids she makes big uh, toddlers as well so she's a very good sculptor and I, I love the hands and feet on Lottie and her face because I'm particularly fond of um, you know real baby faces not so much when they start to grow up I like them little like this this my fa was my favourite time with my babies because you only get it for such a short time basically once they're six weeks old and they start smiling and interacting they almost don't look like newborns anymore even though they're still really teeny weeny but you know once they start interacting they lose that kind of brand new look where they don't really know what's going on around them so, and I love that first six weeks, it's magic, but it goes so fast, faster than you can blink. And it's over and they start to grow up, and then they're adults, and then you have to start collecting reborn dolls so that you can still remember and have the joy of a little baby, which is what I have here. Um, oh, yes, 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 people. <coughs> I got the blood results on Friday from my appointment, and nothing showed up. They're all very good they're as they should be, they're normal and so my doctor said it's really the fatigue is still just from me healing and he said this kind of um, these kind of breaks take a long time to get over they really knock people around and I should expect to feel better by the end of June and I thought oh good heavens how can this be but I have to accept that because that's, so, that's been my experience no matter how hard I try, how hard I fight to keep going and do everything, you know, I'm just really worn out so, and I'm so glad that there was nothing wrong in the blood. I mean, a little bit of me wanted them to find something so that we could fix it and I could feel better, but I guess it's much better to have nothing wrong, isn't it, and um, just to have to wait, 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 wait until I, my body's healed. So um, I have pain, but the pain, like something about pain that is, you can sort of understand it a bit and grasp it and hopefully it goes away. Well, certainly this pain will. That's the good thing about it. It's just a healing pain. It will be gone. And, but it's the tiredness that I find really hard to deal with because I'm actually not sick. Like I do feel a bit woozy and dizzy, but that's just because I'm weary. And so I just always feel like a bit of a, what's the right word, a fraud or a charlatan for just being tired. I think I can't really, I can't justify just being tired. I just need my bones to get better. But, you know, that's, that's me and I've always been like that. I don't know what it is, but there you go. So sadly yesterday I didn't get to go to the big, big party for the dog club. We had about 90 people there. Well, they had 90 people there. And my friend Kim, who's the president now, she took over from me. Um, she, ca she called in last night at the end of everything. She didn't leave, till six, didn't leave the party till 6 o'clock. And by then everything was packed up and the hall all swept and everything was good. So it was a very, very long day for the people who were helping. But it was fabulous. She brought me lots and lots of photos on her iPad. And oh, it looked just amazing because we were celebrating our 40th anniversary um, so we it was the theme was sort of based around the 1970s and some people got really dressed up and we had a special um, company called Cavalcade of Fashion that goes around to, for different fundraisers and different activities and they have um, an amazing collection of, of fashions through the ages not just women's children's and underwear and men's clothes and all sorts of things going way 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 back you know hundreds of years and but this was the first time they'd done a 1970s fashion parade and there were things like pants suits which I'd forgotten all about that we all used to wear so a matching sort of short sleeve jacket and very flared pants um, not not pants like lounge pants, not that kind of flared, because they're just kind of loose, aren't they? But flares that actually started off 
fitting well at your hips and then coming out. They were, they were excellent to wear. And that, I remember liking when I stood up, I liked it when the pants covered my whole foot and my shoe. That was a good measure of, of flared pants. So there were pants suits, there was a safari suit, which is what men used to wear, hideous things. Um, and what else was there? Oh, there was actually a Prue Acton. I don't know if any of you have heard of Prue Acton. The Australians will have. She was a, a famous dress designer and she was Australian. So there was a, a Prue Acton two-piece chocolate brown pants suit set. And you wouldn't believe it. What, what this company does is whoever donates, Outfits. If they have got some provenance, like if they've been in the family or they belong to a certain person, they always give that information and that stays with the garment. And amazingly, that outfit was worn by one of our members called Diane who, and she wore it as a going away outfit when she got married. And there it was for us all to see its glory. So that was really amazing. I wish I would have been there for that. So they had so much food and so many beautiful decorations on the table, flowers, and there was a sort of a Mad Hatter's tea party thing. And so there were lots of decorations to go along with, with Alice in Wonderland. And it was just a beautiful, just, and all I can say, I'm just judging from the photos. And one of our members always makes a giant Christmas cake, a fruit cake with white, I think it's marzipan icing, like Suzanne does. Um, I think it is marzipan icing, but if it's not, whatever it is, it's thick white icing. And this time she made it for our party. And I wish I would have seen this, because on the top they writ she had written all the names of the past presidents, so my name would have been there. I hope someone took a photo of that. I'm very proud that I was president. So, yes, I did get a piece of that, and Kim also brought me a sample of little cakes that they had on the tiered um, plates. And, oh, she I actually won a Lucky Door prize with the ticket that was would have been mine if I was there. And it's just a beautiful centrepiece of red flowers from the table. And I might, if I remember, which I think I will, I'll photograph it and put it on the end of this video for you to see. She also brought me other bits and pieces that everyone was given. A beautiful bag, a special bag in the dog club colours, sorry, colours which is purple and pink and it's a bag that you can use, you know, when you go shopping and just carry your shopping and stuff in it and some other bits and pieces that I actually haven't opened yet today, I will later. So I'm really sad I missed it but I know it would have been impossible for me so I, um, I got to hear all about it anyway and I will see lots more pictures which will be good. It was very nice of Kim to call in after such a huge day. She got there early in the morning and she left at 6, so that's a very big day. But everyone had a fabulous time. Yeah, so there you go. That's a report back on my blood test results and the dog club party, which is pretty good. And you got to see my baby in her jammies, in her pram. And I got to show you the beautiful pram rattle from my little boy. Well, my, it's big boy now, of course. No, that's the wrong way. I was going to zoom out. So, of course, I zoomed in. So just so you can see her in her jammies again. A bit further. There we are. So, there's my girl in the kitchen. At least she's not on the stove. That makes a change, doesn't it? Maybe if I... I know what I can do. If I hold this blanket up close to the camera, you could see the, the little lambs. Let me just organise it a bit. It's just beautiful. Actually, when I when I saw um, Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns, her new, the beautiful cot that she got, the lemon-coloured cot and lambs on it and things, I thought of this beautiful blanket. So there we go. There's one of the little lambs. Can you see the stitching? I hope you can. She's got a garland of beautiful flowers around her neck and there's also a little grub rose um, in her wool near her ear. And she's got eyelashes and a little nose and mouth. You can see her eyes. And let me show you the other one. She's sitting down. The other, first one was sort of dancing and this one's just sitting down. And she's got a garland of flowers around her neck. And a uh, grub rose above her ear as well. And she's got a little curly tail. So they're beautiful, aren't they? Shall I show you the flowers up a bit closer too, now that I'm doing this? 
There we are. Beautiful work. Absolutely gorgeous work. I feel very glad to own this. And then I'll just show you a close up on the corner one. It's one of one each of these roses on the corners. And it's done in ribbon. It's a ribbon rose. Can you see that? With little leaves off the side. Just beautiful. So there we are, my darling friends. Um, I've come up with a brilliant idea for a giveaway. You don't have to do anything, absolutely nothing. Don't do a single thing and I'll talk about it soon. But I'm formulating it and I'm really excited because I think it is cheat proof. I think only nice people will be entered. And you don't have to do a thing. So don't hold your breath, but hopefully I'll be able to tell you about it next time. Or the time after. I'm working on it. So thank you everyone for visiting me on Sunday and I've talked for far too long as usual but I hope it was alright with you and I'll see you all very soon. So take care everyone and be kind to each other. Bye bye.